Hello, Fruit Force. This is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I want to talk about just a nice little fun free game that you can get on Steam. It's a free download, so if you have a Steam account, you can go on there, which once again, you can use free Steam account. You don't have to be playing, and it's called Mushroom Heroes. It has different levels you can unlock, a cute little story. It takes you back to the old school days of like the Nintendo style of graphics, and it's made to do that on purpose. So if you like these throwback retro games, also, it's what it is, it's, it's a puzzle platformer, if you will, where you have three mushroom characters. And each character has specific things that they can do that the others can't. And the goal is to get from point A to point B where there's a door and get through there safely. All you have to do is get one of these mushroom guys through and they all make it through. So you have a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Uh, the red one can jump higher than the rest and sort of float a little bit. Uh, the blue one can't jump quite as high, but it can put up a shield. So if you have things that are incoming tack, he can sit there with a shield and block that. And the green one jumps less high as well, but has a bow and arrow kind of thing, I guess, that you, he can shoot some kind of projectile and he can shoot things. And so you have to use this combination to get through this little stage. It's a set of puzzles. And as you go through, the, the difficulty increases. So if you like games, I think the one was called The Last Vikings. Maybe that's what it was called. I don't remember. That might have been the name where you had three Vikings and you had to switch out which Viking you were using based on what uh, ability you wanted to use. Another game similar to that would have been... Um, the Animaniacs for the Sega Genesis version. The Super Nintendo version was actually different of Animaniacs than the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis version, each character uh, of the Animaniacs has a different skill set, a special thing that they can do that the other ones can't, and that way you can progress the levels. So this is similar, but the levels are short, but they're puzzling, and, and they're quite fun. And that's where this game really excels. It's, it's, it's not trying to wow you graphically or anything. It's just trying to stretch your mind a little bit, make you think, and give you a little bit of fun in the process. Actually, I find it quite charming. So if you want a game, you can just sit back and relax and do a little bit, of, you know, not too hardcore gaming, like you have to pay super close attention every second, you know, white knuckling it, getting scared or anything. You just want to relax, use your brain a little bit and think through puzzles. This probably would be a good game for you. You might, if you like games like Odd World and things, this is probably a good, interesting game for you. And once again, as I said, the price point is really hard to beat. The music is quite interesting. It's fun. Nothing really fancy there. Uh, it looks like it's an indie game, I believe is what it is. But hey, it's free. I recommend checking it out and giving it a play. Thank you for your time. And until next time, keep it frugal.